Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking one of the most beloved and respected uh, players in Chicago Blackhawks uh, history. And they say uh, in sports or in life, when someone calls you Moose, uh, that's usually a term in endearment, and this guy was one of the better Mooses in sports history. So we're going to talk about Elmer uh, Moose Vasco. Now, one of the most, uh, you know, talented uh, defensemen to, to play in the Chicago program Won a Stanley Cup with uh, the Blackhawks in uh, 61 and basically uh, secured uh, the blue line for the Blackhawks when there was a lot of uh, question if when the team was getting more offensive on the forward lines, they would have the defensive stay-at-home defenseman to patrol enough to keep uh, you know uh, the, the score in check and uh, Vasco was, uh, was that for sure. Now, even though he's uh, boarded du, uh, du Perquet to Quebec, he was one of the few players of Slovak defense in the NHL's younger years. I've, I've been talking about the Slovak influence in uh, in podcasts in recent uh, months, and I'm going to talk about the Bohemian Czechoslovakian connection to future podcasts. But uh, Vasco uh, got the heavy recognition. Chicago had an affiliated team called the St. Catherine's TPs of the OHA, where he played three seasons. Now his best year was 55 where he had uh, 36 points in 49 games, and including five more points in the playoffs. Now, he eventually got some seasoning at the end of his uh, minor career with the Buffalo Bisons, but in his rookie year, the year with Chicago, he had 50 points in 64 games. Now, his statistics were very consistent between 20 and 30 points a season. In 61, like I said, that big playoff uh, championship uh, uh, run, he had 22 points in 63 games and two more points in the playoffs. Now, he eventually found his way uh, to expansion in 68. He played with Minnesota for three years and uh, wrapped up his career with Salt Lake of the WHL in 1970 after only playing three games with Minnesota. But wherever he went, uh, he, uh, he drew the respect of the fans and uh, uh, his opponents. But unfortunately, uh, he passed at a, a, a very a too young of an age because he was... Uh, kind of an alumni guy for Chicago, passed away in uh, October 30, 1968, at age uh, 62. Now, what what was interesting about Moose, you know, obviously, what happened when uh, the Chicago rank would, would chant his name and it was sort of like singing from the rafters. Now, his utter distinction, which is quite shocking, nothing bad, of course, he never lost any teeth during his career. Uh, even though there's no helmets or mouth guards, so either had a very good dentist or basically he always kept his head up because they say in hockey, if you don't keep your head up, you're going to lose your teeth. So <laughs> if you want to have trivia about anybody in Chicago black uh, hawk history, so maybe the player that had a had an animal nickname that never lost any teeth in his hockey career. And uh, I don't know if that was uh, part of an article once, but someone must ask the question. He said, Moose, a dumb question. You got awful nice teeth. You know, what do you what do you use for your dentures? Oh, these are my original teeth. And if you look at the pictures of Moose, uh, you know, he's he's got good choppers, man. So so that's a legend of Moose Vasco. Thanks for listening. Please, please give me a comment, like, or subscribe. Any feedback is uh, more than welcome. And just remember, this is your channel. So uh, requests are, are very, very encouraged. Have a good day. Bye.